Welcome to the party, pal. I'm Commander Tom, and this is now day three of Stardew Valley. If I remember correctly, it was supposed to be a rain day today, which means I'm planning on going fishing and meeting Willie for the first time in this save. So that should be fun and interesting. I'm sure I won't be frustrated at all by the fish in the sea. Always make sure you're checking the TV, see what the weather for tomorrow is going to be, and that's going to be clear and sunny. Stardew Valley, the only place I've ever encountered where the weathermen are 100% accurate. So you know that this is a fiction. And the spirits are neutral day. Good. Alright, so, like we said, yep. South of town. Go visit Willie. He'll have a surprise for you. He's got something he's going to give you. To me, that sounds vaguely threatening. And my favorite thing about a rain day, I don't have to water. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and uh, get on down to the beach, and uh, I'll go ahead and do the walk. You skip the time, I'll get back to you in a bit. <laughs> Smoking in the rain at the end of the pier. Where's the body bag? It just feels like I'm here for a hit. Ahoy there, son! There's a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from me and shop once in a while. Spoken like every small businessman ever. Maybe you'll come in the shop and buy something from me. <laughs> I love that. I received a bamboo pole. Excellent. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. The valley has ocean access. My shop's back open now, so come by if you need some supplies. I'll also buy anything you can catch. If it smells, it sells. That's what my old puppy used to say anyway. And especially after being on the sea for so long, I can't believe that Willie smells much better than his fish, okay? Alright, so, we know what fishing is going to be like, but I can't say that this is the worst fishing that I've ever experienced. No, in the last year I played a game with an even harder fishing mechanic called Among Trees. So if any of you feel that fishing's just too hard in Stardew Valley, go try Among Trees. It's even worse. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what I can do with this first one. Hey, yes! That is totally beginner's luck. I'm going to go ahead and try and grind away at this for a little bit. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and let you skip ahead so you're not bored to death watching someone fish. I know some people are bored by real life fishing. I can't believe uh, what you would find entertaining sometimes and watching someone SDV fish. Ah, there's my first crud. Back in a bit. Okay, forget specifically when Willie closes his shop, so before he does, I want to go ahead and sell the fish that I've already gotten. Just really trying to get that early day gold going into a positive direction. I'm less worried about the uh, community center. I'm more focused on just Trying to take a look here. A f double bed? Why is Willie so... It's a fisher. Double bed. That's why Willie's selling a fisher double bed now. For 25,000 gold. <laughs> Woo. Sleep with the fishes, thanks to Willie. Oh, gosh. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we can get towards the afternoon and the evening, see if we can get any more last minute additions to the fish. <laughs> yep, I think just the uh, three more uh, herring is going to be all it is for today. Although, I do kind of want to take a look around here, see if there's anything from beachcombing that might be of use. Yep, yep, I'll pick up all of this stuff. And this is why you bring your hoe with you. Clay, that's fine. I need clay for a silo, so that's no problem. Alright, let me go ahead and get this all back uh, to uh, the farm. I think I'll go ahead and uh, get that set up. My energy is so ridiculously low. I might be able to chop one tree. But aside from that, we're just going to go ahead and call it a night for this moment. Okay, I was wrong. I was able to chop two trees with that amount of energy. But we're still going to bed for the night. <laughs> Alright. Ah, plus one level fishing. Good to see. Uh, foraging. Yeah. Oh, field snack. Wild seeds. I might look into that this year. I don't know. We'll see. Foraging, 130, 150, 280 gold for the day. Not a bad day. Good morning again, and at this stage in the game, I'm almost saddened when I don't hear the rain, because that means I have to pull her. Hmm. Bright sunny day tomorrow. Fortune teller says, good humor today. Thank you, spirits. And what's living off the of lake, gotta tell us. Sorry, Valley. Spring in. It's already been hitting the spring onions. Already took care of that. Alrighty. I'll get the chores. Give me a minute. So, points of observation. Notice, I'm down like 68 points in energy just by watering. <laughs> Golly! <sighs> we are so going to be getting sprinklers on this as soon as we can finagle it. Uh, in the meantime then, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the tools and we're going to look at clearing the land a little bit. I want to get it cleared. I also want to start really working on getting that uh, wood supply up. We're looking for 300 pieces of wood to fix that uh, beach uh, bridge that will help enable us to increase our you know, beachcombing foraging. So I think the plan for today is to go choppa 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 uh, across my land here. And uh, I'm going to leave some wood of course, but I'm kind of curious as to how many trees I can get out with my extremely pathetically limited energy level and uh, we'll see. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And as previously predicted, we are not even at midday and I'm already redlined in energy. Oh gosh. This early day energy level is so slow and painful. It's just literally painful. <laughs> All right, um, there's a couple things I can do though. I want to try and stay as productive as possible because productivity eventually leads to gold, eventually leads to the upgrades we need to get all this knocked out. Again, never leave your hoe behind. Always keep your hoe around. Uh, those worms on the ground and uh, lost treasure you can find from that, that's always worth keeping your hoe around as you're exploring the map. I want to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of, uh, oddly enough, uh, you know, gathering and foraging doesn't go against uh, my energy bar. So I think we're going to go ahead and do a quick run around the map and see what we can find as far as foraging and see if we can find anything quick for perhaps the spring bundle that we know is going to be coming or perhaps uh, just good old fashioned find it and sell it. You know, I can't really complain about that method. Drop some tools off at the farm simply to keep some uh, storage slots available. Did keep the scythe because I figure we'll go ahead and take care of this weed patch up here. Pick up what we see along the way. Oh, uh, Haley. Okay, let's get to her, Matt. So you're the new farmer boy, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Okay, great. 
If it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute! And I do think that Haley would be the type of girl that would go, cute! You know, as a middle-aged guy, I can't get that note, but you know what I mean. Cute! Alright, so let's clear here. Just trying to uh, see if I can get those, uh, yeah, mixed seeds. Just because mixed seeds are free seeds, and free seeds still grow, and once they grow, they sell for profit. And if you're selling everything, but don't pay for the seeds, that's called profit. Spoken like a true Ferengi. I'll uh, we'll slip up here. We'll definitely say hello to Linus, uh, get that introduction going, but I'm also curious if there's any other supplies that can be foraged. Okay. Oh, good. There's something right up by uh, Linus then, too. A stranger? Hello? That's actually the most realistic introduction, too. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. That's cool. I got no problems with you. In fact, Linus is probably one of my favorite characters on here. We'll go ahead and give him a gift. He loves the stuff you just find wild. So. Alrighty, and. Oh wow, both of them. Yeah, the map is. You play on for a little bit and everything gets opened up and you forget how closed off it is on the first couple of days. Dang. Okay. Pick up a couple of leaks. Let's get back to the farm. Still got some energy in me, so I'm going to go ahead and check out this uh, southern section of the map uh, just to see what may be available here for foraging. Foraging seems to be a good option for right now. I believe even fishing takes some energy out of you, so we're just going to see what nature's bounty will provide and see if I can make a small fortune off of it, or at least a few All Alright, sun is going down. Ooh, hang on, Leah. Might as well meet her. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> you picked a good time to move here. Spring is lovely. Yes, Leah. The beginning of the game is a good time to move in here. <laughs> Alright, so she's actually one of the characters that is more normal to me than a lot of the people that they create in the game. That's saying an awful lot. But for right now, the sun is going down. I have a legitimate rock maze I have to work through just to get back to my bed. So I think we'll go ahead and call that a day. I do thank you for your views. If you got anything out of this, if I just made you smile, leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more, that's what playlists are for. I am Commander Tom, and I will see you next time. Thanks.